Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I wanted to just do a short science lesson with you today. Um, so we are going to read this book, Physics at the Park, okay? And I did send home a copy of the book and the questions for you. So if you have that at home, before you before you play this video, maybe get out your book and the questions because we're going to go over that. So we're going to talk about... Physics at the Park, Level FG, by Molly Tittle, illustrated by Travis Schaefer. Okay, and the reason why I picked this lesson is because it does talk about physics, which is a sci physical science, which is what we're talking about this month. We're talking about movement, force, motion, forces like pushing, pulling. So we're going to read about physics right now at the park. Val is at the park. She is babysitting her neighbor, Ava. Ava wants to swing. Okay, so Val is babysitting Ava. This must be Ava, and she wants to go on the swings, okay? So have you been to the park, and do you like to ride the swings? Ava climbs on the swing. Val pushes the swing. This is a force. A force is a push or pull. Okay, so when you go to the park and you get on the swings, which a lot of you I know probably like to go on the swings because they are fun, maybe somebody has to help you move the swing, right? You, if you sit down on the swing and do nothing, are you going to move? Probably not. So somebody has to usually help you, give you a push, okay? So they push you with their hands forward. That is called a force. A force is a push or pull, something that moves you or moves objects. Val pushes the swing. It moves in the air. The length the swing moves is called distance. Okay, so Val, the babysitter, pushed the swings and it moved, it moved Ava forward. Okay, it moved through the air. And the length of the, the, the swing moves is called the distance. So starting from here and wherever they swung to, wherever Ava swung to is the distance. Ava wants to swing high. Val pushes the swing a little more. Val did not use much force. It only moves a little distance. Okay, so Ava wants to swing higher. So if you've been on the swings, you know, and some of you know how to actually make yourself go really high in the on the swings. Um, she wanted to go higher, but Val did not use much force. She pushed the swing just a little bit forward. So that, as you know, probably is not going to get you very high. You need a, pr a pretty hard push to go high in the air. So it only moved a little distance. Ava wants to go higher. Val pushes the swing harder. This time, Ava flies higher into the air. Okay, so now Val pushed the swing harder. So she, she put a little more force on Ava, pushed her harder, and she goes higher in the air. Ava went higher on the swing. The swing moved higher because the force of Val's push was harder. The swing moved a greater distance up into the air. Okay, so the greater force, the more it moves, okay? So if you push something a little bit, it's only going to move just a little bit. If you push something harder, it's going to move further. Ava gets off the swing. Val pushes the empty swing. It flies the highest. Why does the swing fly the highest without Ava on it? Okay, so let's see. So Ava's not on the swing and Val pushed it and it flew higher. Why do we think that? What do you think? Let's see if it tells us on the next page. Ava adds mass to the swing. Mass is how heavy and big something is. The weight of Ava's body makes the swing's mass heavier. Okay, so she adds mass by sitting on it because she's probably a little heavier well, than the swing. So 
something heavier, a heavier object maybe takes more force to push and a lighter object takes less force to push further. The mass of the swing changes the distance it can move. When something has a heavier mass, it needs more force to move a greater distance. Which is what I just said. Heavier things need more force. <laughs> the empty swing has less mass, so it moves a greater distance with less force. When Neva is on the swing, she adds mass. The swing does not go as high when Val pushes it. Okay, so it's a little harder to push the swing higher when Ava's on it because she makes it a little heavier. It's time to go home. Val and Ava leave the park. Val knows a little bit more about how things move. Okay, and hopefully we know a little bit more about how things move. The end. Okay, so some of our vocabulary words, force which is um, a pushing or pulling to move objects. And, okay, so a push is a force and a pull is a force. Okay, and a ma mass determines how hard, how much force you have to put on something to make it move. And mass includes the weight and the size. Okay, so... Now we go back over to the questions. So we, I have to look for it again, science and physical science. So physics at the park. Okay, so these are our questions. Number one. What is a push or a pull? What do you call a push or a pull? Is that a, a, a force, B, a door, or C, a boot? Okay, remember what we read about in the, um, in the story and what we've been talking about all month long? Force. Force is a push or pull. Force. Okay. Number two. Two. What is the length the swing moves called? Okay, the length that the swing moves, so we're moving forwards, backward. The length is the weight, the speed, or the distance. What do you say? Do we think it's the weight? Let's see. Weight. No. The speed. No. Distance. The distance. The length the swing moves or the... Uh, how far something moves when you push it is the distance. Three. How does Val make the swing go higher? Okay, how does Val make the swing go higher? By A, park, C, push, or C, stop. What do you think? Park? Park. Oh. Does she make it go higher by pushing it? Push. Yes, push. Number four. Four. What is the weight or size of something? Okay, remember Ava added what to the swing? The weight and size, is it A, mass, B, ruler, or C, distance? Did she add ruler? Did she add distance? She added mass. Mass. Okay, and our final question. Five. How much mass does an empty swing have? How much mass does an empty swing have? So without a, a person on it, is it the same, A, more, or less? You, you think it's the same, it doesn't change? No, it changes. More? No. An empty swing has less mass. It's less heavy. It's not as big. Okay, so that is our physics lesson for today. And now next week or in the coming weeks, we might go over this again in school. But if not, and you have any questions about it, let me know, okay? I'll see.